South Potter Island. Not a lot of crowds out there quite yet, so if you have time to get over there, might as well. It's one of the only places that's going to be under 90 degrees going into this afternoon. Right now, coastal regions seeing 80s still, but the rest of us here in the valley in the low to mid 90s. Roma already up at 96. Here in Harlingen, we're at 95. And along with these hot temperatures, we also have some breezy conditions going on out there. Some of those gusts up to thir over 30 miles per hour. So Brownsville, 32 miles per hour. McAllen over there, 33. Coastal regions still in the 20s for now, but they could be expecting uh, some more winds going throughout the day. And this can be thanks to high pressure that's in the Gulf and then a low to our north. So we're going to get is this nice southeast flow. It's going to be coming in. Bringing us some of these more gusty winds, upwards of 30 miles per hour, like we just saw. Now, other than the wind and the heat, we have a mostly clear day ahead of us. This is 3 p.m., so in just a couple hours, once again, we see those yellow arrows, so we're gonna see some of those gusts coming through. 100 degrees, and look at that, sustained winds 20 miles per hour. Got a lot going on right now, okay? Tonight, though, we're still gonna have mostly clear skies, so any Tuesday night plans are on overnight. Some clouds are going to be filtering in and out throughout the evening into the overnight hours and then early tomorrow morning. Could see some partly cloudy skies going throughout the day. Earlier today, we were clear. Could see a couple more going into tomorrow, but no rain clouds, just, just normal clouds. What we got going on today, 100 degrees for the valley average high. It's a breezy one. Like I said, gusts up to 30. In the upper valley, we're going to be above triple digits. 105, 106. On the coast, so we'll stay in the high 80s. But those feels like temperatures are going to be in the triple digits for everybody except for those on the coast. So we're looking at 106, 107, 108. In the upper valley, close to 110 feels like temperatures. So, as always, you want to make sure you check that back seat, stay hydrated, check on your pets, wear sunscreen. And I said this earlier grab your sunglasses. I always forget my sunglasses. If you can go to South Pottery Island, I'd recommend, first of all, bolting your tent down to make sure it doesn't fly off. And, of course, 87 degrees, that high 80s there. It's going to feel like mid to high 90s, but still, that water's at 77 degrees there in the Gulf. Not a bad way to cool off. And in the Bay, 83 degrees there. It is going to be choppy today. That surf height's three to four feet. So, something to be mindful of. In the tropics, still quiet out there. High pressure over the Atlantic. It's going to keep no storm development for the next five days. And like I said earlier, we got high pressure in the Gulf. So, no storm development there either. All we have out in the tropics is on the Pacific side of things. We have Tropical Storm Estelle. Was a Category 1 hurricane earlier today, but now is becoming disorganized. Going to continue away from land, so no worries there. Don't forget, you can download the Valley Storm Team app. Current weather radar, not only for here, but also wherever your travels may take you. You can download that by just searching KVEO on your app store for free. And here's look what we got going on this week. Lots of sunshine. Like I said, breezy conditions. So... I mean, we were talking about this earlier. You can fly a kite, uh, hold on to your hat, yeah. all that good stuff. <laughs> Jim's little saying, hold on to your hat, folks. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, if you go down to the beach, mm -hmm. I can see how it would be problematic if you're bringing, like, uh, with the floaties and, mm -hmm. like, beach floats. Yeah. You're going to lose those. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you so much, Jessica.